Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure MySQL 9.1 on Windows 11 operating system. But the process is same on Windows 10 also. Okay, first go to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Click on downloads. Then scroll down. See here we have the MySQL community downloads. Click on it. Click on MySQL community server. See here the version 9.1 and set the operating system as Microsoft Windows. Then so click on this download button. No thanks, just start my download. So click on this. No thanks, just start my download. Click on it. Go to downloads. See, its a size is 118 megabytes. See, download is completed. Now click on this MSI file. Click on next. <coughs> Select the I accept the terms in the license agreement and click on next. Click on complete. Click on install. After setup completion, we have to run the MySQL configurator. Okay. Click on select the checkbox and click on finish. Or if you close this one, then also you can be able to open the MySQL configurator by going to MySQL folder. See here. See here we have the MySQL 9.1 configurator. Okay. Both are same. So keep the checkbox as it is and click on finish. Now click on next. See this is the MySQL server configurator. Click on next. See this will be the data directory location. If you want to change, click on this browse button. Then select the path where you want to configure data directory. Click on next. I am ok with the default one. So click on next. And this is the config type. See here we have these config types. I am going with the development only. Then port number 3306. Name and purpose, nothing I am not going to change. Click on next. Now provide the password to the root user. Okay. Now if you want to create user account, you have to click on add user. Later also we can add the user once we connect to MySQL server. So click on add user. Here we have to provide name, host type and roles. See here we have different roles and provide the password. Okay. I am not going to create, just I am showing you how to create. Click on cancel, click on next and this is the service name in Windows services application. If you want to give any custom like 91 updated like anything, but I am going with the default one and run Windows services either custom user or standard system account. I am going with standard system account, so click on next, grant all, if you want to create this sample databases. It is up to you. So, for practice, you can select them. If you don't want, so unselect them. Okay. So, it's all based on requirement. Click on next. See, ready to apply the configuration. So, click on execute. See, it is applying the configurations for the MySQL server. So done now click on next configuration completed click on finish now go to mysql folder click on mysql command line client it is used to connect to mysql server click on it provide the password of root account see we have connected to mysql server version 9.1 also you can verify select version see we have installed mysql server version 9.1 Okay, let us verify list of the databases comes with MySQL installation. So, databases. See here, we have accept this Sakiland world. Remaining are the default databases comes with MySQL installation. Also, verify list of users. So, users. This will throw error because we don't have any command like this. Okay, we can get the user details by running select my select user from MySQL dot user okay so these are the list of the users comes with the installation of mysql server now we will see how to create a database create database r schools let us verify show databases see new database is created now if you want to switch to this database and create objects use the command use r schools put semicolon hit enter now Verify list of tables. So, 
tables. We don't have any tables, so let us create a table in this database. Create. Now verify. See, we have created a table. Let us insert some data into this table. Let us verify the data. See, we have this data. Okay. But if we give star, it retired all column values. But if you want only particular columns, you can give like this. You can also get only S name from the table where of the column of the S number value 101. See, we got the S name of this S number. Okay. Until now, we have performed actions on MySQL client. Now, we will see how to connect to MySQL by using two GUI tools. One is MySQL Workbench and another one is DBWR. I am going to show you how to install MySQL Workbench on Windows operating systems. And for DBWR, I kept a video link in the video description. You can go through it and you can install it. Okay. So go to mysql.com again. Downloads. How many downloads? See here we have the MySQL page. Click on it. See this is the version of the MySQL page. Click on download. Click on no thanks. Just start my download. See download has been started. Click on MSI file. Click on next. 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 Now, click on launch MySQL Workbench now. Keep the checkbox and click on finish. So, this is the MySQL Workbench console. Click on press button to add the connection. Give the name MySQL 9.1. Name can be anything. Port number. Okay, port number 3306. Host name because it is 120127001. It is the loopback IP of the machine. Or you can give the local host or you can give the IP of the machine where you have installed MySQL. I have installed MySQL on this piece. So, give this as it is or give local host. And username, root, then password, click on store in vault. Then provide the password that we have set at the time of installation. Click on OK. Click on test connection. Continue anyway. See, successfully made connection. And this is the information about the connection. Click on OK. Click on OK. Again, click on this connection. See here, we have two tabs. One administration and schemas administration has these features if you go to schemas see here these are the list of the databases if you want to create database right click and select the create schema schema or database name are same my db wb click on apply click on apply click on finish see new database is there even if you go to the mysql command line client just give show databases See here we have the my db wp. Okay. If you want to run queries against any database, just select database and click on SQL. Now we can run the queries. Okay. The other tool is dbwr. As I told you, I have already installed dbwr. If you want to install dbwr, you can go through the video description. There you have the link to download and install dbwr on Windows machines. Okay, click on dbwr. Now click on this plus button, then select the MySQL, then click on next. Here local host or loopback or IP of the machine where you have installed MySQL then provide the database name after schools provide the password of the port account and this is the port number now click on test connection click on see connected successfully click on ok click on finish expand connection expand databases see here we have the all the databases even expand users if you want to create user right click on user create user then give username and these are the list of the privileges suppose if you want to enable create user you have to select this one suppose you have different options so based on requirement you can select 
see this is the privilege and this is the description of the privilege okay now click on save click on persist see user is created okay let me close this one now if you want to run the queries right click on any database then sql editor then select the open sql console now we can run the queries against my sql server the last option that i am going to show you service go to services.msc press m see here we have the mysql 91 okay that means mysql 91 that we have given if you want to stop right click click on stop if you want to restart click on restart or select the service see here we have the links stop and restart here also we have the buttons like stop and restart so in this video we have seen how to install mysql 9.1 on windows 11 operating system for more mysql tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you